this compressor here we did a uh, repair we we put a new headset or head gasket on the engine we we redid the radiators and a uh, customer brought it back to us after one hour of running complaining that the uh, unit is still overheating so this is what we tackle in today we're gonna uh, go through the paces figure out what it is that is making it overheat and then I have a gut feeling it's a very simple fix so come along with me and we're gonna figure it out together Battery's dead. That's a good start, huh? <laughs> yeah. Somebody left the ignition open, so we're gonna have to drag this thing in. And well, I don't want to run it inside just because we have this facility that is gonna fill with gases. So we're gonna get it started inside and then bring it back out. This is not very nice. I'm not very sure, but I think the red one goes here and then this one goes there. If you guys are watching this and maybe care to comment, let me know how to start a unit. That would be great. by putting a bolt in through it. Oh yeah! There it is. Little 
plan to reduce that I didn't put on the other day. So we thought I should put those while we're here. For the fuel injection, um, well, the injectors here were, these washers were missing from our previous uh, mechanics that work in here. Not mentioning any names. We have a, uh, a problem. I think it's gonna be a simple fix. Here is what I think it is. We have a very small radiator on this unit. So it's literally half of the whole assembly there is the radiator for the engine. The engine seemed to be fine as far as 181 temperature. And the minute I close the hood, I see the temperature increases to about 200, 230 which is way too much for the engine. So the water comes out and instead of cooling right now because we have this fan sucking the air through, uh, instead of cooling it, it's actually heating it. The reason why is because this muffler sits right here. So all the, the t this is sitting at six, six to 700 degrees. And what it's doing is siphoning all this heat, taking it into the radiator and uh, heating the water rather than cooling it. So this muffler should have never been designed to be here. And if it was designed like this from factory, I have a strong belief that when they did it, they probably had it wrapped with some kind of a, a thermal protection so that the heat doesn't escape inside this area. So what we're gonna do, wrap this thing up and then we'll retest it again, see if, uh, if it dissipates heat better than than what it just what it what it done for us right now so let's get that done and then we'll come back to it we are going to remove the heat shield here and we're going to use this i don't know what this is but and i'm not going to tell you guys where i got it Ooh, what a nice this is the good stuff that you wrap a turbo with and it's very prickly. I guess that's why they send you a <laughs> pair of gloves to go with it. I'm gonna give you a, ooh, look at this. Never seen this before, but it is.
like a glove, baby. Okay, so you want Mr. Wilson? Enough art for today. Got it. Get it off. I let go. As it, if you it, it, it just didn't let go of me. <laughs> as if you could, as I'm saying. <laughs> Good. Friends, that little piece of material and so thin could it change the way that the heat radiates around this area we don't know right so we're gonna i guess test it at the end find out Because how are we gonna get it in here? Without sticking it everywhere out. Oh, look at that. Good. What are we gonna say this for, huh? So we just put it up here and make it look uglier? Everybody knows the way to work with this zip tie, metal zip tie. Let us know. We can help each other. Block radiant heat only. Don't apply to any parts of the exhaust system. Which one? Is it? Here we go. Come on, just clean this here. That's why we put it away. <laughs> you don't want to leave that. I tell you what, that looks good though. It looks like like a turbolizer, marbleizer, huh? We're all done with this. Gonna have to go outside and try it out again. I guess uh, a good uh, thing for you guys to know is maybe wear some long sleeves because this right here is nasty. It's starting to uh, itch a lot and uh, it's not going to be fun tonight. Probably won't sleep, but uh, it's done. Let's see what it does.
That is so nasty. That glue's finally burning off. Yeah. We did make some progress. However, I'm still not happy with it. Although we're gonna be able to run it with the door open. So it dissipates the heat that puts in. The uh, shield that we installed here, it worked great because it was uh, putting six to 700 degrees heat around this area. But now with this cover, it's only 150 degrees. So it cooled off uh, significantly. Significantly, whatever that word is. Gotcha. Significantly. Significantly. So I'm happy with it. However, I think it goes back to whoever designed this engine or this compressor and it's, it's just nothing more I can do other than it's ready. The only way we're gonna be able to run it is with the door open. Or the next thing I need to do is remove this muffler and move it to the outside to where it's not producing heat inside the engine bay. So we call it done. That is it for today, so as always, comment, like, and subscribe.